In this training video, I'm going to teach you how to release the tight glute muscles. In my newsletter, I was talking about the importance of releasing the superficial backline, and the glutes are a very powerful uh, major part of this fascinating fascial connection. The first thing you need is a foam roller. So what I'm going to do is I place it underneath my hips, I'm going to sit on the roller with my feet hip distance apart, my hands are behind me to support myself. Then I'm going to tilt my knees a little bit to the right, that way I place most of my body weight on the right side of the hip. Then I slowly start rolling back and forth on the foam roller, covering the area where my back pocket would be if I had one. And if I find a tight spot, I take a break, I stop a little bit, and I start moving my body side to side, just to massage the tight area and wrap the tight spot away. Another way of intensifying this, if you feel like you're balanced enough and you're not going to fall off of the foam roller, you want to cross your right ankle over your left knee and continue rolling. This way you can get a little bit deeper into the deep hip rotator muscles and you can give yourself a better release. Same technique, rolling slowly back and forth on the area where your back pocket is. If you find a tight spot, pause and move a little bit sideways. Another way to intensify this, if you're experienced with foam rolling, is you're gonna take, uh, put your hand on your knee and just grab that knee, pull it towards your shoulder, towards your armpit. You can even give it a hug for a tighter um, squeeze and continue rolling your hip. This way you're getting a little bit deeper than before and you can get a really deep release in the hip muscles. So this is a great technique to release the back side of the hip. If you would like to get into the side of the hip, which um, is a very good idea because your glute muscles do not stop in the back, they wrap around and they insert on the side of the hip, then what you're going to do is you straighten your leg and you rotate a little bit so you end up on the side of your hip and keeping that leg straight you roll up to close to the rim of your hip bone and then down about five six inches lower just above the hip socket and go back and forth same way if you find an especially uncomfortable tight spot take a little break and just move your body sideways just to address the tissue from a different angle and you probably want to repeat the rolling between 10 and 20 times if you're new to foam rolling or if your foam roller is very firm and you can just barely stand it then start maybe with 10 repetitions if you're experienced with foam rolling feel free to do this for even a couple of minutes